Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asian. I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. I got Spider-Man with me today. Uh, we are going to do some more fall planting, uh, some more fall prep. So I have some seeds. I have onion seeds and leek seeds that I am going to direct. So I have a calendar from my local feed and seed store. It's like this really long piece of paper and it tells you everything you can plant and when you can plant it. So I still have time to plant onions and leeks. I still have time to plant uh, beets. I can reseed this rutabaga area. I know someone said that it takes a while for the seeds to germinate um, and that's cool because I can thin. I do want to make sure that I get good germination in this space so I'm going to reseed uh, the rutabaga area. The turnip area still looks really good. So today we are also gonna plant out cabbage, some more broccoli, we have our kale and some more collards. So I'm really today trying to get everything for fall planted out um, because I will be out of town for work from Wednesday to Friday of this week. Um, we're supposed to have overcast days and it's also supposed to rain. Yes, I already told you that. <laughs> they always act like they don't know when it's time for you to leave, right? Um, so I want to get all of that planted out because like I said, it's supposed to be overcast. It's also overcast today. It is probably about one or two o'clock. And so one. we are not, is it one something? Okay. It's one something. All right. So it's one something um, and we don't have any sun. It's very overcast. Looks like it's going to rain. Perfect time to go ahead and plant out um, your start as well as your seeds. Um, I may try to cover my seeds with a little bit of grass if I have some that hasn't started to already like break down. I have several bags. Uh, another thing that I have to do today is try and take more compost out of my second compost bin. So I've been doing that over the weekend, but like I said in my community post, the weekend got away from me. Who is that? Yes. Guess that father's here. As soon as I started recording, I have no idea what's going on. So it's drizzling a little bit out here, but I want to show you all something. The eggplant have started to like kick back up, and I don't know if it's because of the cooler air or what it is, but like. We have so many eggplant growing right now. And I was saying, ooh, I hope it slows down. So we will be eating eggplant soon quite often. <laughs> so look, there's eggplant there. It's a bunch of eggplant down in here starting to grow. There's some over here. There's one down there. That one's probably ready to harvest. And right there too. So there's a lot of eggplant coming. Everybody is showing off as soon as I start recording. I think that is Bertha making all of that noise. By the way, this morning, I came outside to check the chickens to get them water and all that stuff. And I noticed that the quail had uh, laid eggs. And so I'm not sure if I have a male or a female. Someone did comment earlier today. I think they probably saw my post over on Instagram saying that the noise that you all heard and I heard and was like, what is that noise? In my last uh, video, she said she thinks it's a male. So. I'm pretty excited about that. What are the chances that the two birds that survived are male and female? I'm so excited. So I'm gonna give it uh, about six more days and then I'm gonna put them in an the incubator and then we have the 21 days before they hatch and hopefully they're fertilized and I have more eggs and I could have more quail for meat. Okay, so the plan for this section. Um, so when you come into the garden and you come to your right, this is where the cherry tomatoes are and they still are up there and they still are growing. But luckily, you know, I pull the lower leaves during the year and so there's a lot of space down here. So the plan with this space is kale um, and then there's collards gonna be at the other end of it. On the front of this row, we are going to plant onions. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put the leeks. I don't even know that I like leeks. Uh, they look pretty cool to grow. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try them, but I do know that I like onions and I'm gonna try and overwinter them this year Thank you What, what is this? <laughs> I don't need that <laughs> This is a cauliflower. I planted that out last week sometime and then there's a cauliflower in the back This suit does not help if, if you don't want to give them my mosquitoes because you can use the blood so get some Oh lord The mosquitoes? Yeah Yeah so, Okay. <laughs> so I should be able to get a good amount of onions across the front of this bed. I'm really trying to work on maximizing my space. 
In the bed, we're gonna put one kale plant per square foot. Um, if I wanted like smaller kale leaves, I could probably do two to one square foot, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, and so I think I've showed this before, the way that I mark out my square feet is I just get a ruler and I put my indention, then I move my ruler like this, then I go the next way, and the next way. And that's how I mark out my square feet. Um, it's been working so far. Hey friend, yeah. you didn't bring me the bone meal. It's on the stand. Okay, thank you. Um, so I'm just gonna plant right in the middle of it, of each square feet. And I don't have any blood meal. These beds have been, they have been amended with my own personal or homemade compost. And they have been amended with granulated fertilizer. And so I'm gonna throw bone meal in the hole because bone meal is said to help with root production. Um, and so right now that's what we want. And there are other things that have been added to the bed that will assist with uh, nitrogen. Plus I do plan to do some um, fish emulsion to them once they get established. Spider-Man ain't here, ain't no cookie milk in there. <laughs> I don't need that. Ah, the bone meal that someone gave me. I have some that's open. My daughter brought me the one that's not open. So it's cool. <laughs> what? There's, There's an open one up there, but it's okay. It's all going to get used eventually. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit on my shovel, trowel, whatever. Drop it down into the hole. The sheep did the thing to dig with. The thing to dig with, I could not think of the name of it. <laughs> so, bone meal is normally white. I've never used this one, but I mean, it's bone meal. So, I'm just gonna mix it into the hole a little bit. Spider Man has some skates coming. Yeah, she does. She's waiting for some skates from Amazon. She gave me a horrible foot massage the other night, and I bought her some skates for it. It was a horrible foot massage, y'all. So, oh wow, there's, there's a chair over there. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Well, friend, I don't know what to tell you. So there are three plants in here. Um, I could break these apart. There you go, like right there. One, one there, two, three. I could break these apart and plant them all. Um, and I probably will do that just to save them in case I have some spot somewhere else that I can plant something. Um, but if not, I could just, if I wasn't going to try to do that, I could just pinch these off and then leave the roots intact, but it's not going to bother them either way that you do it. Uh, the kale plants don't mind having their roots disturbed. Ooh, I'm here. I'm thin down though. Okay. Kind of wet, but. Wet? I'm sitting down. It doesn't feel wet to me. Well, it's not this way. But, you know. So just like that, I've separated them. And I'm going to plant this pretty deep, like all the way up to there. But yeah, we are getting the fall garden going around here. The suits, do you think I'm going back up? Okay. <laughs> no, no more suit. Yeah. I'm she coming. said the suit's leaving. I'm coming back though. These starts have been outside since I wanna say maybe Wednesday of last week. I think I'm thinking Wednesday of last week, but they never went back inside. I put them in shade for like one day. Um, they were covered in netting. And then I put them in direct sun because I knew that I wanted to get them out. Um, so they've been in direct sun since Thursday. They look just fine and I'm gonna plant them out today. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start planting out the onion seeds that's going to go all the way across the front of this bed. I am going to mix in some bone meal for these as well because root vegetables, from what I have read, like uh, bone meal, they, they thrive off of that. Uh, but I guess that makes sense. Bone meal helps with root production and so a root crop is just that, a root. So I'm going to mix some of that in to the front of this while I'm planting out the onions. So I'm just making a little furrow. So I'm just gonna drop a little bit of bone meal into the furrow. This is my first time doing it this way, so we'll all see how that works out <laughs> together. 
I am planting a Texas early grano. I believe it is a short day onion. Um, yeah, a sweet short day onion. These are the same ones that I grew in spring. I'm hoping to get some bigger bulbs and some more onions. And so onions have pretty small seeds. And I am gonna do two per hole just for germination purposes. I don't want this spot in the back to go to waste. Um, and I think that there is enough space here between the two that it gives me 12 inches and it does. I'm still gonna plant another kale plant back here in the back as well because that's a lot of unused space. Um, so while it's not a square foot between this square foot and the fence, there's still more room in the back and this stuff that's back there, that's gonna end up dying. And so I am gonna plant another kale plant towards the back behind each one of the square feet. Another thing I could do to use up some of the space that's not being used early before the plants get really big is like throw in some really quick cropping crops. Ah, I said it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, before they get really big like radishes and I could get um, another harvest of something out of this same bed I probably could even throw some carrots in here um, we will see <laughs> started sprinkling earlier so we might even get a little bit of rain tonight that would be awesome eventually this trellis will come out um, giving it space to grow up so not too worried about that And this is a, I think a dwarf blue kale. And so kale is a very uh, cold hardy plant. Um, I don't normally cover this bed, but if we were to get like a really hard frost, I would throw some frost cover over it, but it's not one of the beds that has the permanent hoops. And so that's why I'm putting the kale over here this year. My Vates collars. These were the first collars I grew and they were very nice growing collards. I did not get to taste them because at the time I did not eat collards. Um, so I'm excited to go ahead and plant these and hopefully get a really good crop like I did my first time planting them. And I will get to taste them this time. <laughs> I put my cauliflower over here this year because I'm never successful at growing cauliflower. And so I didn't want to use some of my bed space for it. If I get lucky, I'll get cauliflower this year. If I don't, then I will have saved myself some space. <laughs> okay, so that's that bed. I'm gonna water it in really well. There is a good amount of onions growing across the front. Pretty excited about that. Um, and then these are also cauliflowers down here. By the way, remember I said the peas didn't come up? That's a pea, and so is that. Where, can you see it? Right there, hand over there. So I may have just been being a little too quick about uh, saying that it didn't work because they're starting to come up now. Um, looking for my, my watering can. So I can go ahead and get those watered in. Perfect day for it. And so we're gonna go ahead and water these in. Uh, you wanna water them in pretty good the first time. You wanna make sure there's no gaps or anything in the soil and like the soil has good contact with the root ball. So I'm gonna let that soak in and then I'm gonna move on to planting some of my other starts. So in the raised beds, I have marked off the square footage, but I'm only doing three. I normally can get four plants in here, but because cabbages get pretty big and uh, broccoli gets pretty big, I'm only gonna do three across each row. By the way, look at all of those loofah flowers coming in at the end of the year. I still don't see a loofah but the flowers are very much um, helping me to say, yes, I'm growing these next year. Okay, so I have gotten everything planted out. Um, pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm going to show you where I put everything. Um, I do have some extra red Russian kale, trying to figure out where I can put that at. Um, my mother may grow this year through the fall, so I may just end up giving it to her. But I wanna show you really quick my fall garden. 
All right, so bed number one, where the lettuce didn't come up, I just went ahead and transplanted the spinach. This is where the rutabaga is. I went ahead and uh, reseeded that a little bit. This is cabbage that I put two calendula right here in the front just for a little bit of prettiness in the bed. Um, and then these are broccoli, broccoli, broccoli rob. All the way in the back are Brussels sprouts and those tomatoes are still there because they still look decent. <laughs> In bed number two, you have the turnips in the front section. You have cabbage behind that. I did throw in the calendula again for some, for some, for some pretty. <laughs> um, and then there's broccoli and cauliflower going down the back of that as well. In the bed where we had all those pretty sunflowers and melons and things, uh, this is collards and kale um, and Swiss chard. There's Swiss chard at each end. There's dinosaur kale in the middle in the front. These are collards here all the way across the back. It's Morris heading collards and Georgia Southern collards. Over here, I'm not sure what my son looks like in the fall. And so these are just extra. This is collards and kale. And then I threw some calendula in the front right here in front of the uh, beans that I had replanted for a second harvest. Those bush beans look horrible. I'm probably gonna pull them, but I'm gonna leave the runner beans. And then last but not least, um, we have more calendula that I planted out today. I want more calendula because I would like the flowers. And so we planted the other bed together so you know what that looks like. Um, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to visit me over on Instagram at Miss MS Asia Spratly, where I post about the things going on in the garden every day. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful week. Bye.